Hey, welcome back to the F Plus 24 Terrible Hours uh, r- radio podcast. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello, it is me, Talking Hot Dog. Yes, yeah. uh, I, I'm Jimmy Franks, and uh, with us uh, for this next uh, 50 minutes or so, we, we have Zarla, who's still yeah. with us. And, uh, <laughs> no show, Gulag. Hello. Uh, Stog. Yeah. I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> and the uh, newcomer has entered the arena, Isfahan. Dun, dun, Have we changed in the basements and help? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Today and we so changed after... basements in hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God we are switching gears uh, as it's uh, breakfast time for many people. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna indulge in uh, kind of the lighter side of the F plus and do a fan favorite, the old. Recipes, yes, we're going Yay! to Pinterest. Yay! You know, I've never actually been in a recipe episode. Well, now really? you are. <laughs> that's, that's Dude, your I guess this failing. Yeah. Dreams do yeah. come true. Usually yeah, the horrible ones careful. where something's chasing you and then eats you. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I didn't wish for uh, that. <laughs> yeah, so, so we're going to <laughs> Pinterest for, for these recipes. So uh, presumably somebody liked these because they pinned them, right? Or... At least they posted them. So there's got to be some quality <laughs> stuff here that we're all going to be able to take away at least one recipe that we'll want to make for our family for Thanksgiving or Arbor Day or whatever kind of event that you celebrate with your your loved ones. Oh yeah, yeah the and old, all have uh, beautiful looking pictures. The old Arbor Day yeah. potluck. It, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving a Pinterest so, board just for something like this. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't know who provided us with this doc uh but i do want to thank them and apologize for not knowing because they didn't they did not Locklow? sign their work who was that locklow locklow Lock- Lock- is that Lock-Low. It? Lock-Low. Oh, it is locklow hello locklow um, thank you locklow <laughs> thank you lock and load that info yeah <laughs> <laughs> guess it would help if i read the very first line in the document sorry <laughs> so uh so it, and uh, Lockelo uh, kindly uh, organized this with uh, some keywords. Like he just jumped right into it, and so we we have some different categories of uh, things that you would you would come to expect in an F plus episode. So let's yeah. um, let's find out all the wonderful things you can do with things that you you might find in your own home, uh, like oh I don't know Doritos. Yeah, uh, Zarla, <laughs> Zarla, tell me about. Funeral potatoes. Okay. Funeral potatoes. <laughs> My favorite kind of potatoes. Mm. I also like. I also like that the URL for this is funeral potatoes. <laughs> <So, laughs> All right. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. All right. If you live in Utah, chances are you're dead. No. Chances are you probably know <laughs> know what a funeral potato recipe is. Is that true? Well, okay. If you don't live here, then you're probably wondering what are funeral potatoes, right? They're actually just a cheesy potato casserole that you can take to a potluck church gathering or funeral that are so delicious that you'll want to devour the whole entire casserole yourself. Just bring it the, and then just sit there and eat it. Why do I get the feeling you're else. trying to make the funeral about your potato casserole? Glaring at the open casket, giant spoon in hand, just shoveling them into your mouth. It's already, you folks. You, y'all can come get some anytime. They growl if somebody gets too close to you. No joke. I can't tell you how many times I just wanted to pick up the entire dish and run with it and eat it all because they're so good at the funeral. They are way fattening, though, so I don't really suggest that you eat the whole thing yourself. Talking to you, Debbie. You probably gained five pounds, and that wouldn't be a good thing. You wouldn't I mean, like come me on. that much anymore. No. You wouldn't like me that much anymore. And then I'd be sad because we're this friends. Is, this is we? a recipe, right? <laughs> yeah, we're this friends, is a recipe. Are we in person, we are. So let's just play it safe, and we'll both share with our families when we make this yummy casserole, friend. Oh, our it's a friends. recipe and an emotional cry well, for help. I was gonna say this is friend. This is almost like the little, the little small talk they have at on the morning talk shows before they actually pull the the ingredients out. Yeah, <laughs> it only takes a few ingredients to make this recipe, which is nice. The not so nice thing is that it does take them an hour to cook, so that, that isn't always fun when you're hungry and want to eat dinner right now. If you well, can prepare fuck it. this then. Yeah. 
Fuck that. I'm an hour. <laughs> what does cooking need time? I don't believe that. <laughs> if you can prepare and have an hour to spare, then this is a recipe for you. You definitely will be happy you tried these. Your hips, not so happy. You are belly, very happy. They're so good, but not that good for you. I just really want to belabor this point a yeah, little bit. You, yeah. <laughs> Before I you even wanna... get... Let me just let me illustrate my point for you. This dish will kill you. Yeah. You want to know why? It's called funeral a, potatoes for a reason. Yeah. This will make you, you as dead as the person you're potatoes. burying. That's a plot twist at the end. Before you even get to the recipe, I'll warn you that I used a can of cream and chicken soup. I know. <laughs> gasp. Sometimes I don't always have a ton of time to make everything from scratch. You're healthier. So stop I mean, judging on. me. God. <laughs> I do, however, have a seriously yummy condensed homemade cream of chicken recipe to share oh, with you. Oh, here comes the oh, plug. Oh, boy. Yeah. We haven't Wait, even gotten just... to the recipe, and they're already plugging other recipes. That's going to take even more soup. time. Better okay. living through cream of chicken soup. <laughs> it's from Give Me Some <laughs> Oven, and it would work wonderfully oh, in this recipe. You got through it. You want to go. <laughs> that's a good right. one. Funeral <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> God. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Pipe organ. Dun. Prep time, 10 minutes. Cook time, 60 minutes. Total time, an hour and 10 minutes. This funeral potato recipe is a delicious way to make a cheesy potato casserole that your whole family will love and to make sure we keep the shadow of death over everything we're making yeah. here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Recipe type casserole serves six ingredients. One, a large 30 ounce package of traditional frozen hash browns. Take out of the freezer 20 minutes prior to cooking. <laughs> like, oh one my half, God. <laughs> half a large yellow onion chopped, tablespoon of butter, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two cups of sour cream, mm. two and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, mm. three tablespoons of chives. We use freeze dried, but you can use fresh too. Oh, can we? Oh, thank you. <laughs> they freeze dry of chimes? Wow, okay. <laughs> One can of cream of chicken soup, or click on the link in the paragraph above for a homemade condensed cream of chicken soup recipe. One and a half cups of French's fried onions, crushed. And two cups of nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> oh, you yeah, lost now we're talking. What a Sorry. twist. <laughs> that took a left turn suddenly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Crushed. Then I used a large gallon size bag and a rolling pin to crush my French's onions and Doritos. <laughs> took out all my frustration on them. <laughs> oh, Doritos! Then I took out, this oh, is where I took out life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took all my frustrations out on my body because I hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> Someday I'll be in the ground. Directions. <laughs> In a medium skillet, heat one tablespoon of butter and cook your onion until soft by five minutes. Cook your onion sounds suggestive. All right. Mm -hmm. in a, two, in a large mixing bowl, combine your hash brown, salt, black pepper, chives, sour cream, shredded cheddar cheese, cream of chicken soup, and your cooked onion. Stir well. It may take some serious arm muscle to work this all together if your hash browns are still frozen, but it should mix easily if thawed. Preheat your oven to 375, put your potato mixture in a dish and cook in the oven for 30 minutes. Take out and stir it all really well. Put it back in the oven and cook it again until it's bubbling on the sides of the middle, about 23 more minutes. Once it's bubbling in the middle, you know it's done. Take the casserole out of the oven, sprinkle your crushed onion and Doritos on top, put it back in the oven for an additional five minutes. Well, watch carefully so the topping doesn't burn. Gotta love the yeah, taste you don't of want baked Dorito. burnt Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> Remove well, the I'm, oven I'm, and serve immediately. Well, Toasting brings out the flavor. I'm glad that the last part, because I was like, you you're mixing a casserole like shouldn't it be layered but then the, the additional layer is the doritos yeah so. <laughs> no it's jody one of our awesome readers just using chia soup in this recipe instead of cream and chicken uh, and i think that would be awesome thanks for the suggestion jody, <laughs> jody. Yeah, thanks, thanks, jody. jody. <laughs> do not use the cremation thanks, oven for jody. your casserole <laughs> <laughs> jody hates Fuck you even off, more than jody. i do uh hey uh it's fine <laughs> yes sir I know that you love cheese, and I know I that you sure love Doritos, do. and I know you oh, love everything chest. fried. Mm, so uh, I, sure I got just the recipe for you, friend. <laughs> I got a few more bypasses left in me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gotta show your heart who's boss. <laughs> Can't be afraid. You're going for the going for the quintuple that, bypass. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> I got these uh, fried cheese stuffed Doritos, right? Oh my okay. god! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Okay. Sometimes you just need a really ooey gooey, no way to pretend it's healthy bite of goodness. No, you don't. You no, I do. I, no, no, sometimes no. you do. We're American. Nope. Yes, you do. No, I, I love I love cheese, and this is a, is a act this of baseball bat I have war. says that sometimes you do. <laughs> this oh, you need someone to cheese. just walk up and kick you in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> That's the food version it. of this. 
This fried cheese stuffed Doritos recipe is exactly that. Yeah, you see, take the it. already delicious snack of Doritos, add in melted cheese, and wow, it just mm -hmm. takes it up a few levels. Not all the way, but just a few. <laughs> a few levels. <laughs> from like, from like, a, like, a, like, a, like a three to a to like a six. Yeah, yeah. That many levels. <laughs> I don't want to get too crazy. Don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> You wish they were just Dorito nachos. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense, or at least I'd be able to do this for. What are you going to do These... with all that cheese? Fry it by itself? I don't <laughs> think so. This isn't the state fair. Get out of here. <laughs> Golden Bites make a fun party appetizer, a great afternoon snack, and the perfect bites while watching a football game, basketball game, or other sporting event on TV. Pack them for your children and their lunches. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's the police for kids. <laughs> to add to the cheesiness, you can serve them with nacho cheese for dipping. <laughs> Only your extreme. Mm. Okay. Right, but, okay. So, I'm gonna put some so cheese I'm, on the uh, cheese and dip it in cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, so I'm paleo, so like, tell me what's in this. Uh, I just want to make sure this is gonna jive with my lifestyle. Okay, cavemen <laughs> could totally have eaten this. Okay, okay. it's two pounds uh, of medium cheddar cheese, so we're already off to a good start. Yeah, <laughs> one and a half cup of nacho cheese Doritos, which I believe occurred in nature in the uh, <laughs> yeah. African Ice Age on the Dorito bush. Yeah. They, yes. they were they, some dinosaurs actually had them as scales. We've learned this from the fossil records. Oh, the okay. Oh, yeah, the Doritosaurus, <laughs> the Dragonito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's only in fantasy. Uh, okay, so we got four eggs. You know, want to build up our no, protein. No, you missed. You missed an ingredient. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, it might be because these two lines looked very similar. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> so we have the one and a half cups of nacho cheese Doritos, but we also have one and a half cups of spicy nacho cheese Doritos. So <laughs> shut Doritos. the shut the front door. I heard yeah. the Dorito paleontologist got into a war about whether they were different families or not. <laughs> like, Damn, like, son, where'd like you find those Doritos? Are we talking about <laughs> now? I I could have just said three cups of spicy nacho cheese Doritos, but we got to cut it. You know, we got to cut yeah, it. Yeah, you don't want Doritos. you don't want too much spice in your too your... much spice. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got four eggs just for our protein. Uh, <laughs> they can sit and watch you cook it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a one and a half cups of flour. Is that cheese flour? <laughs> no, just flour is a thickening flour. agent. Flour. Oh. They accept cheese flour. <laughs> Uh, we have two pounds of flour of cheese in this Jimmy Franks. <laughs> Is that not enough cheese so for you? You have to go to the grocery store. You have to pick up a, that one of those blocks of cheese, and then you have to pick up a second one. Yeah. <laughs> so just why are there other ingredients? Okay. Should it only just be the cheese? So you've Five got a thickening agent with one and a half cups of flour. Then we have half a teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> All right, you know, because we need some spiciness. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. um, but not one and much. a half teaspoons of yeah. garlic powder. Man, garlic. Whoa, they're crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of flavor in there. Yeah. This is getting too much. And then we have uh, one quart of vegetable or canola oil. That's to spread all over your body Wait, so you can fit through the doorway after you eat this Just thing. You drink that afterwards to lubricate your, your like, innards. Like, so you make it go through infinity. Hold on, just taste myself up. All right, stop for a second. A quart is... You're deep what frying it, yes. something, so How yeah, use the, like, the quart That's a mason jar of that's, oil. That's pretty wow. much an, an entire bottle of vegetable canola. But yeah, it's for deep... You're going to yeah, be submerging these things. Oh, right, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. That's, that makes more sense. All right, so let's pan the camera over here. I already have these ingredients prepared. Uh -huh. um, awesome. So I sweated out the oil do, earlier. Is cut the cheese... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what it says. Okay. Into one half inch squares and then slice each square diagonally to make triangles. Ooh, right. Then fancy. we're going to put the one and a half cups of flour in a bowl. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And in a separate bowl, beat the eggs until well blended. Oh, look at this. Those eggs out. Over here. Mm -hmm. Just give those <laughs> eggs a punch. You didn't. You didn't say to crack the eggs into the bowl. Maybe we just like beat them with their shells. I don't know. Add crunch and and calcium. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, calcium. Okay, so add both flavors of Doritos, the pepper and the garlic powder to the to a food processor, which uh -huh. I assume you have, and blend until it looks like coarse bread. That's not the right. That's course. a wrong kind of course. <laughs> I don't it's remember that. I don't remember Egypt. that from Mario Kart. The bread. <laughs> 
a correspondence <laughs> course in breadcrumbs. <laughs> it, it's just a correspondence mildly swearing at you. But anyway, <laughs> place the mixture in a separate bowl. So three bowls. Okay, Don't get your bowls, bowls confused. Up to three bowls for this layered Johnny Doritos three bowls. possible. I see what they're doing though. They're uh, basically they're setting just, up a, like, a this, breading it's very station important. for the cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's a very important when making fried cheese stuffed Doritos to do mise en place to yep. just, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you really want it to turn out well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta, gotta you used a breathe. fancy French word. <laughs> yeah, I know what that means. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, definitely. So now we're going to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and set it at the end of your assembly line. <laughs> now comes the fun part, folks. Take your cheese and coat it in the flour, not heavily coated, and then place in the egg. Are we making mm -hmm. like this is almost like making uh, fried oysters. I'm, yeah, it's make same sure idea. Th yeah, this is the same thing. This is the exact same thing. Make sure the egg sticks to the floured cheese. I don't think you'll have a problem there. Uh, then <laughs> place it in your Dorito blend and make sure it's coated well. If you're having a hard time getting Dorito mix to stick, then blend a little more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, then we're going to place the coated cheese triangles because there's really no better... Uh, <laughs> There's really no better description for these objects uh -huh. <laughs> on parchment covered cookie sheet and place in the freezer for two to three hours until frozen. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I threw a curveball uh, at you. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> new step to this process. <laughs> we have to pretend like what? these were previously processed and we t are taking them out of the freezer section of the supermarket. <laughs> Once uh -huh. frozen, heat a quart of oil to 350 degrees. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think even the cat would uh, steer clear of the kitchen while you're doing this. Probably. <laughs> no, Place the Dorito no covered cheese. triangles in the oil for one to two minutes or until they are lightly browned. Mm -hmm. uh, do not overcook or cheese will melt out. <laughs> you don't want to lose <laughs> even a drop of cheese. Uh, okay, not lift my not one drop. You cannot lose any of that precious liquid gold. It's delicious life force. <laughs> Remove with a slotted spoon or a regular spoon, you know, if you want to wanna go hardcore. <laughs> and place on a paper towel to soak up the excess grease. <laughs> I, I wonder why there's there will not, be. like, quotes around the word excess. <laughs> and and uh, instruction number 10, which is the most important one, serve immediately. Step no, 11, burn the fuck out of your yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> do it now. Give the curse to someone else. <laughs> uh, Stog. Yes. Uh, I feel like um, like we should we should maybe move on. So I'm going to give you... A, From I'm Doritos? You yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, well, actually, no, I think... Let's real quick. No, let's let's do one more before we 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 move on. Um, I think I know what okay. the search terms were for this talk. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Oh God! You mean I'm delicious? trapped in hell. Yes, exactly. I'm trapped in hell, and hell is covered in cheesy Dorito chips. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Spicy there's flavor. Just, there's nothing you can't do with a Dorito. Yeah. Um, uh, Walk well, typed in only good recipes, please. In the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I feel like, you know, the complex flavor profiles that you can create with that medium, it's like, um, you know, it's really very umami. Yeah. yeah, it truly, it truly is. So, Not a flexibility. Um, so, Stock, tell me about uh, this uh, bacon wrapped Doritos breaded onion rings. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get a heart attack just from thinking about that. <laughs> from uh, from DudeFoods.com. Uh, <laughs> okay, us this Dog, bring out your delight. breast. It's all right, Stop. You're thinking about it with your brain, so that's where all the fat goes. So you're not going to have a heart attack. You're just going to have a stroke. So oh, I, want you, I want you to bring us your best uh, bro voice for Dudes Foods. Dude. You got to dude it up. Dude! Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> Let's <laughs> have some bacon wrapped Doritos red onion rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm missing a beer can on my forehead. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, I'm I having I'm having the worst hangover of my life. <laughs> and also I left my pants hanging on side my door. <laughs> and a little over a year yeah. ago. A little over a year ago, I made some Doritos crusted chicken strips. The chicken's what makes us healthy. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> Which were awesome, by the way. <laughs> and seeing as that post skill gets tons of views, I'm always trying to think of new foods that could benefit from a crispy Doritos breading. Gotta get those sweet clicks. <laughs> this is what I have to offer the world. <laughs> oh, Doritos brainstorming. <laughs> I'm Doritos, part of the Doritos research and development. The Doritos life chose me. Yeah. The Doritos are yes. my canvas. This is my masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a sculptor, but with Doritos. <laughs> I've already followed the original recipe up with Doritos crusted bacon and a Doritos oh. burger. Oh. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! 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 Uh, he donated. Thank you, uh... Uh, on Fims uh, gave us six dollars and sixty six cents to bring the total up to twenty seven hundred dollars and seventy six cents. Oh. <laughs> donation of the beast. Thank you, On Fims. Hail Satan, and thanks for donating. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> now back to this horrible recipe I'm looking at. Yes. So we've got. So we left off at Doritos bread burger. Um, but this time I wanted something more than just the Doritos breading. See, as I'm already a terrible cook, although I went with one thing that I actually know how to do extremely well. Wrapping things in bacon. Uh, uh, Major doing it in college. <laughs> yep. Underwater bacon weaving. <laughs> I majored in tailgating and wrapping things in bacon at college. <laughs> Go hook them horns. <laughs> oh, yeah, this definitely came out of Texas. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> By things, I mean the penises of my fellow frat brothers. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I just imagine him wrapping them in bacon. I, I, okay, I let's make sure something different. <laughs> yeah, it's, no. it's not gay if it's wrapped in bacon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, as I already learned from the Doritos crust bacon, Doritos and bacon go together like an old lady and 17 cats. Oh. Sorry, I'm as terrible at analogies as I am at cooking. Then why are we read listening to you? <laughs> End recipe. the prejudice against crazy cat ladies now. <laughs> Sir. To make these bacon wrapped Doritos breaded onion rings, I grabbed a sweet onion, removed the peel, and sliced it horizontally into rings that were each about an inch thick. I then That's coated... really thick for onion rings. <laughs> <laughs> so is this a I recipe like now? You're, you're going to get about like uh, four rings per onion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, no, like three rings. <laughs> I then coated each ring in flour, dipped them in an egg wash, rolled them around some crushed up Doritos, and wrapped them in bacon, which I secured with some toothpicks. Oh. After that, I just popped them into my 375 degree oven for 25 minutes. I have several ovens. I have several ovens. They are only for one temperature only. I keep them on all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same Me, <laughs> He's got yeah. mise en place on, uh, ovens. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my landlord is really angry at me for some reason. I just can't take the stress anymore. I need to eat these and I'm always so foods. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> can't stop sweating. Even I'm fortune though... on air conditioning. <laughs> 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 There's like one comfortable spot in his apartment between the AC and the ovens. Like, yes, yeah. stand directly in between them and not the move. eye of the ovens. Yeah. Even, even though these were absolutely amazing, I'd still be hard pressed to choose a favorite between these and my various other Doritos breaded creations. In a way, I love all my children. I love all my horrible, fucked up children. <laughs> My Dorito babies equally. <laughs> In a way, I guess it would be like asking a parent which of their children they like best. I, on the other hand, don't have any kids, so these bacon-wrapped Doritos breaded onion rings, the Doritos crusted chicken strips, these are my children, and I love them all equally. Oh my god! Thank you, Uncle Nurgle! The joke we, the joke we made was in the reading. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. That's and sad. if I had kids, they'd all weigh 900 pounds each. So, so to review, this was one, two, three, four, let's say four paragraphs. Only one of them was actually about making the, the onion rings. The rest was like a live journal entry. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. I'm sure you're interested in the history behind these bacon wrapped Doritos breaded onion rings. Well, oh, sit by the fire. Let no. me tell you a tale. No. It all started in 1776 <laughs> when George Washington <laughs> said "fuck you" to the Queen of England. That he it was, got it was the Doritos. King of England. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> no, the queen. queen isn't that old. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Queen this is of the kind England of... is a. Is the Boston immortal. Dorito Party. Is this is the kind <laughs> okay. of person that they're going to find dead underneath a stack of, of Dorito bags. <laughs> that someday. they hoarded, met, yeah. like, okay. like newspapers. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, the, we have had a lot of fun, and we have learned a lot about all the different things that you can do with Doritos. Uh, yeah. I've got one more thing that you can do uh, with Doritos. Before I get to that, though, uh, I do want to throw this out. Uh, Montreth passed along. That if we can get past three thousand dollars, she'll repeat the salt and vinegar chips with ice coffee disaster, and this time oh. she'll actually finish eating it. Oh uh, my with, god! With photographic evidence, she says. With photographic evidence, <gasps> yes. Oh my uh, god! We have to do this. <laughs> yeah, and so does. Can somebody kind of bring us up to speed if people aren't familiar, like me, with what that means? <laughs> now I'm only an expert. Nutshell, in you know something about right now. this, don't you? What? Do you know something about this? No idea. I just saw her posted in the the. Uh... Okay. It's well, finished folklore. Mantras, <laughs> mantras offering to eat some gross shit if we yes. can get that uh, donation Basically. total up past three. Yeah. Grand, so. Uh, <laughs> she yeah, said something so about liquid. Smash that donate yeah. button, everyone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so, oh, and uh, thanks again to uh, Amelia Blank who is uh, drawing on the chat right now a. Uh, a corpulent fellow uh, inviting us to eat his child. So that's eat right. my yes. child. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Okay. So, uh, what are two oh. great tastes that taste great together? Mountain Dew and Doritos. That's right. Oh. I was going to say Doritos and Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, no. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, the the joke is the answer. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh no. So not shell, joking. I wasn't joking. Not shell. Tell me a little Never bit about this about uh, this delightful uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, dessert recipe that you've got for us. Well, you see, my boyfriend David says that I have odd taste in food. He often <laughs> thinks that flavor combinations I think sound good, sound awful. He says that my tastes in food are bougie. According to <laughs> Urban Dictionary, bougie means anything that is perceived as upscale from a blue collar point of view. Bougie, pronounced bushy, is a half <laughs> truncation of the word bourgeoisie, which refers to the middle class in Europe, but refers to more affluent class level in the United States. Now, remember, so, this, is a, this is a recipe about Mountain Dew and Doritos cake. So I have to ask, does the combination of Mountain Dew and Doritos in a cake sound bougie to you? No, it sounds fucking hey, gross. David, I it asked the, the internet, and they, and they said it doesn't sound bougie at all. <laughs> Like, oh my god. That's means the opposite of what you said it means. Yeah. <laughs> this recipe reminds me of the year that I made Mountain Dew flavored marshmallows for a friend of mine for Christmas. Whoa. See, that has a better chance of working than this. I want to do sugar. The proletariat okay. must seize the means of production. <laughs> of of plaque uh, production in my arteries. Uh, we distribute the world. <laughs> so Mountain Dew Doritos cake. It makes one six inch two layer two, two layer cake and twelve cupcakes or twenty-four cupcakes. You can whip so, that people. For the cake or cupcakes, you make one you take one box of lemon cake mix and one box of lemon pudding mix and four eggs and one and one fourth cups of mountain dew and one half cup vegetable oil. And then you preheat <laughs> the oven to three hundred and fifty degrees. Then you mix all the ingredients together except Mountain Dew. And once the ingredients are all combined well. You slowly pour in the Mountain Dew? <laughs> slowly. You don't want it to fizz up. <laughs> don't drink it. Please don't drink it. And then you pour the mix into a prepared pan or line cupcake pan. You bake the cupcakes for 14 to 15 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. Or you bake the six inch cake for 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. <laughs> comes out clean. <laughs> and then you let the cakes cool before frosting. And while they're cooling, you make the Mountain Dew buttercream, which is four oh, cups no. of powdered sugar, yeah. 
and two <laughs> sticks of unsalted butter softened and one eighth cup of Mountain Dew and one half <laughs> tablespoon lemon juice and one half te- tablespoon lime juice. <laughs> then you beat the butter until it's light and fluffy and you add the powdered sugar one cup at a time because if you add it in all at once it goes poof and your whole kitchen is covered with powdered sugar and, it's really fast. <laughs> and that's how the ants get in <laughs> yeah totally and you add in mountain dew and juices and you continue beating until smooth and the consistency is too thick add mountain dew one teaspoon at a time until the desired consistency is achieved if you'd like to color your frosting, like mine in the photos, divide the icing into two separate bowls. Add light green to one bowl and yellow lemon food coloring to the other bowl. I pipe the green swirls on first, and then I top with yellow. And then you might have noticed that there's like no actual Doritos in the recipe. But see what you do is you top your cupcakes and cake with the nacho cheese Doritos. Oh. <laughs> then, oh. What a cop out. Then when you taste the awesome flavor combo, accept the fact that you are now officially just as bougie as me. Lucky. <laughs> Oh man! That, oh it, no! That sounds delicious. I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I am salivating right now. I'm, my mouth is watering. But you know, you know what I need is I need something to wash down that delicious, delicious dessert. Uh, yeah. Isfahan, what do you got for me? I mean, and I don't want to just drink a Mountain Dew, right? I no, no, like no. Make something. It's really gonna set my taste buds afire. If if we're going to be bougie, we may as well go whole hog with this. That's so right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You know I've got for about. you a Mountain Dew cocktail. That's what they recommended from the kitchen. We know how you feel about Mountain Dew, so everyone Martin. knows. We know how you feel about drinking. <laughs> here's why. Here's why I arch an accusatory eyebrow. Yes, you can combine uh, the two. <laughs> no, you, you can combine the two and here's how the mountain dew cocktail doesn't actually involve any mountain dew hey where are you going right now Go i'm ducking hell, like weirdo. crushed up cans of mountain dew empty crushed up cans of mountain dew on the stage <laughs> it just tastes like it <laughs> of course we don't have mountain dew in this establishment <laughs> and it's one of those fun drinks where you get to drop a shot glass into a mug Nerd suitable, car bomb! Suitable for <laughs> chugging, like most ah, cocktails. <laughs> so this is the world's first cocktail intended for chugging. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the recipe. We have one ounce vodka, one ounce yeah. Midori. A, uh, of course, we have to have something imported. My God, uh, draft beer or more vodka. How much more <laughs> beer? In the words of Bo- uh, Bunny Bread, how much you got? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is no amount uh, specified for the draft beer or more vodka. Uh, and then the fourth bullet point is Seven Up. Again, no quantity specified. <laughs> they explained it further down. <laughs> there are a couple of variations on this drink, one using beer, the other using vodka. Oh, the beer version definitely looks more like Mountain Dew, but a lot of people prefer the taste of the vodka version. Really? Which I just... can't see what would be wrong with combining Midori and draft beer. <laughs> well, you... I thought you went to college, my God. <laughs> combining beer with more beer always wins. Uh, this just means you'll have to test each version at least once in order to figure out what you like. You might even want to organize a whole blind taste test with some friends and see if you can't get <laughs> you can't get them to remain your friends afterwards. You can't get a marketing professor to accept the whole experiment with as extra credit. Unlike so, mine, I'll show it, you. I'll post it online. If you remember to take notes, that is. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. see, that's the other side. He didn't take notes, so uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the recipe's lost forever, drats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get like Pokemon Red and Blue here, and uh, here's the beer version. Yeah. <laughs> Fill a beer mug a little way with beer. I'm sure you're with me already. Uh-huh. Then a little way with Seven Up, and repeat the cycle until you filled the glass with equal amounts of each. Uh-huh. Fill a shot glass with the Midori. Drop the whole freaking shot glass into the beer. Drop oh, the then whole walk glass away into the casually garbage. whistling yes. like nothing happened. So, so this is like some kind of weird Irish car bomb version. Yes, of- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said nerd car bomb. It's a, it's, I think this would be a, uh, a trailer park uh, broken down car on blocks bomb. 
<laughs> Camaro Carl. Um, <laughs> and here's the vodka version. Pour an ounce of vodka into a glass. Fill the glass up most of the way with 7-Up, and then drop in your Midori shot. Drop it in the trash. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> the trash can spits it out, too. <laughs> it tastes like Mountain Dew, I swear. <laughs> uh, this is good, man. My sweet tooth is activated. Like uh, I'm craving, dinner, I'm craving dinner, some sweets. Dinner, <laughs> dinner, dinner. dinner. Uh, so what uh, what else can we do with the great taste of Mountain Dew, Stog? You know, the let's great... uh, let's 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 add some fruit to this mix, huh? Oh shit! Let's go to um. Uh, uh, thanks to cooking cooking with Gilmore uh, has our our next uh, delightful uh, culinary treat. Oh, you mean um you mean the app Mountain Dew apple cobbler? No, no, uh, no. Nope. It's gonna be. This one is right underneath the recipe that yes. we, the yep. cocktail oh, recipe. Dew cocktail. Peach <laughs> dumplings. Peach yes. dumplings. We're combining yeah. Mountain Dew with peach dumplings. Uh, now, peach I know dumplings. That's dumplings. right. We're committing I'm a crime optimistic. against peaches everywhere. Not better have peaches not... in it. Let's talk about that mistake. Peach Christ. dumplings was your nickname in high school, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello there. My name is Peach Dumplings, and we're going to make some peach dumplings. Yay. What a coinky dink. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Um, I've had a... Uh, ever since the accident, I've just been mainlining uh, junk food. Uh, so this sort of looked like this sort of recipe was sort of healthy. I mean, I used it for dessert, but now I've added my own uh, peach dumplings twist to these peach dumplings. Yay. Yay. Okay, so for these peach Yay. dumplings, you're going to need two whole large peaches. Yay. Good. We're, on it. We're going good here. <laughs> you're going to also... Track. You're gonna also need two eight-ounce cans of crescent rolls. Oh, that's not great, but that's close. All right. Okay. We have two our dumpling sticks. part. If we're still on track. Two sticks of butter. God damn it, Paula Deen! <laughs> <laughs> okay. One one half cup of sugar. Okay. One teaspoon of vanilla. Uh huh. Cinnamon to taste. Okay, and this is where and this is where I had my stroke. Um, one twelve ounce <laughs> can of Mountain Dew. I don't <laughs> your, know about your that. Your son got a hold of the recipe there. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> my gross son is gonna be the death of me. This is ready to cry in. <laughs> so anyway, you peel and pit the peaches. You cut both peaches into eight slices. Roll each peach slice in a uh, crescent roll. Place it in a nine by thirteen buttered pan. Melt butter, then add sugar and barely stir. Add vanilla, stir, and then pour the entire mixture over peaches. Pour Mountain you, Dew well, around so the edges you, of the. How do you <laughs> barely stir anything? Either you, you, you stir you or no stir, and it, twist no it once and then pull it out. Yeah, you blow on it. You blow on it really hard for about a minute. So it's it's sitting in a butter pan, and then you're pouring butter over top of it. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is more like poached dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is where I commit like my. A, it's like a Mountain Dew Hollandaise. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> So this is where I commit my food crime. Um, <laughs> pour Mountain Dew around the edges of the pan. Sprinkle with oh, cinnamon. See, it's it. okay. They mean on the outside of the pan, so it doesn't actually yeah. in on the, yeah. on the counter. It's like a summoning ritual. That's Mountain right. <laughs> pour the Mountain Dew in the form of a pentagram. <laughs> We're creating a Mountain Dew moat. <laughs> <laughs> It's full of Dorito sharks. <laughs> yeah, they got little fins poking up. Yeah, yeah and they're Doritos. It's great. Yeah. Sprinkle. <laughs> Sprinkle with cinnamon and bake at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Serve with ice cream and spoon some of the sweet sauces from the pan over the... <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, I had a heart attack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. Well, the food police came in and arrested you for those food crimes. So you didn't <laughs> no, I'm not done with the recipe. No. Um, oh hello, God, hello. Drop the box, Excuse don't. me. <laughs> my name is Renee Schmelz, and I was wondering why the Mountain Dew. I'd prefer to leave that out. No, you put it in. Oh, <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna have to file a Freedom of Information of Information <laughs> Act request for that answer. Now, you see oh. the explanation for why the Mountain Dew was on the last part of the post that we don't get to read. It's it lost forever. 
Yeah. Oh, I had to put that, it, uh, it was like sounds... looking into the uh, into the uh, the lost ark, you know. <laughs> That's too much. And then they do two two different versions of that same recipe with apples instead yeah. of peaches, and it's horrifying. Yeah. Um, but okay, so all right, look, here, it's it's game day, right? It's yeah. uh, mm-hmm. it's somebody's funeral. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know that Brenda is gonna bring the funeral potatoes, so you can't oh, make yeah. those. Right? Yeah. Uh, right. So what are you gonna do? Block. God damn it, Brenda. Zarla, you only have a little bit of time to make uh-huh. something with just what's in your kitchen. Uh, it's uh, time to hit fabulouslyfrugal.com. It's like a combination and, uh, of Cooking Mama and 24. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom will fix it. <laughs> and uh, whip up some of your world-famous Mountain Dew Apple Cobbler. Okay, I will, but just because it's a favor for you guys. <laughs> Don't do this for just anybody. She, she doesn't bust Thank out the you. Mountain Dew Apple Cobbler for just anybody. Just the inner circle. <laughs> It's super quick and easy cobbler. That is fabulous. Severed warm over vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Servered. <laughs> Servered. Severed, yeah. Over vanilla ice cream with a surprise ingredient for Mountain Dew fans. Even if you are not a fan of Mountain Dew, you would never know this is a secret ingredient. So is it for Mountain Dew fans or not? <laughs> like, yeah. At, at first, I thought the recipe was kind of funny, but my husband is a big Mountain Dew fan, so I thought it would be a novelty to try. It was actually really good, and you would never guess the secret ingredient was Mountain Dew. I did change his recipe up a little bit. Normally, you would roll each apple slice up <laughs> in a triangle, the crescent dole dole, and slide on the butter and brown sugar and top it all off. I pour in the Mountain Dew around the edge of the pan. I'm a huge fan of more apples and less breading, so I added more apples and put the entire crescent roll dough on the top, added a bunch of sugar to the apples and the rest on the top, then poured the Mountain Dew around the edges and some of the perforated holes turns out fantastic with a great rich flavor that's divine served warm with vanilla ice cream so oh. you need eight granny smith green apples yep uh, two sticks of butter a cup of sugar yeah. <laughs> a cup of brown sugar <laughs> uh, <was> basically <laughs> two cups of sugar <laughs> <laughs> two cans of crescent rolls Jesus. Uh, a cup of mountain dew and two tablespoons of cinnamon so basically we're going to commit crimes against apples yeah. yeah, actually, this recipe is pretty large. Like this is like a party it serving. Is. It's like I mean, it's like a giant a bowl of candy by bar nine with a light dusting of apples. Yeah. No, it's all for me. So, <laughs> first, peel the apples and cut the apples in eight slices. Next, sprinkle cinnamon on all the apples and line the bottom of a glass baking dish. Then, in a small pot, bring the butter, cinnamon, sugar, and brown sugar to a boil. Then, pour three fourths of it over the apples. Reserve some to pour on top of the crescent rolls. Unroll the crescent roll dough and place on top of the mixture of apples and sugar. Make sure to cover all of it. Uh, finally, pour the Mountain Dew around the edges of the pan oh. and through the perforated triangular holes of the crescent roll dough. Place in the between, oven for 45 minutes and 35, 350 degrees. Create a Mountain Dew boat. Be- between steps two and four, she looked up the dictionary, the word pour. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the wrong pour. Like, Whoops. Tastes great served hot with vanilla bean ice cream. It's just They're like these sad slices of apples that have been crystallized in a giant, like, sugar block. <laughs> That's my cobbler. All right. That sounds delicious. <laughs> now, that's almost I, a catchphrase. Well, that's my cobbler. <laughs> well, Shrug. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I am stuffed. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I could eat another bite, but I, I need a digestive. A bit of room. <laughs> it's fun. I, I hope you saved a little bit of room because we've got uh, we got one more item on the menu to make this like a real seven course American meal. Uh, and I'm yeah, going to yeah. give you a choice of what that is. Am I going to give you a choice? I don't think I, I think we're out. Uh, yeah. Hold on a second here. What would be the perfect <laughs> end capper to this? Uh, uh, I will give you, okay, here, here. I'm not going to tell you what the recipe is, but I will give you the sources and then you can choose uh, from the, the respect, uh, the respective website, what what we're going to have for, oh, okay. we're gonna game for, for a midnight snack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make All a right. deal. <laughs> so yeah, do you yeah. want to, do you want a recipe from, uh, oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> from oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> food charlatan.com. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. The food. Make food. <laughs> <laughs> or, I don't actually make food. <laughs> or, Mrs. Happy Homemaker.com. I, 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 I want to check out the food charlatan. Uh, I, want to, I want to get scammed on some recipes here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, then let me tell you about uh, a little something that uh, is a big favorite in my household the Nutella and banana stuffed crescent rolls. 
Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds like a nice light uh, digestive to have after your meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Here's a little Nutella and banana stuffed crescent rolls. <laughs> uh, you don't get a live journal entry with me. We're just going to jump right into it. Okay. Yeah. Just stuff. Oh, wait, never mind. I spoke way too soon. <laughs> I want to know more way about you. Tell soon. us more. Okay. All right. You stuff a buttery crescent roll with banana and a schmear of <laughs> Nutella. And you roll it in cinnamon sugar and you bake it. This is the easiest recipe for happiness in 10 minutes flat. Well, that was short. All right. Yeah. uh, You think that would be the end of the recipe, right? But now uh, let's go, let's go on over to my, uh, to my live (laughs) journal. Am I the only one with a banana Nutella addiction? (laughs) The mini Karen angel on my shoulder says, let's be a healthy Karen. Have a banana for a snack. And the mini devil Karen on my other shoulder says, Yes, Karen, a banana with Nutella. <laughs> and thus I am led carefully and surely down the path to diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> so At least he's self aware, I, I suppose. Yeah, so then I just decided to throw in the towel and wrap the whole thing in buttery crescent roll dough. Uh, so what kind of a towel am I going to need for this recipe? Is it uh, like a beach towel or a bathroom towel? Uh, beach towel. Like one of those little yeah, hotel you're towels. You're going to need a around. paper Here. towel soaked through to the clear. Okay. I've always cons- I've always wanted to add a towel to my recipe. I just really like how chewy the textures of the towels are. <laughs> we use them for straining things too, you know. It's got a good <laughs> mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs> that terry cloth really, yeah. Uh, All right. I think we beat that joke to death. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep going. We wrap the whole thing in buttery crescent rolled dough <laughs> and roll it in straight up sugar. <laughs> oh. And this is an encapsulation of this entire hour uh, block of reading. <laughs> Giving up never tasted so right. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right for your die. Fist pump. Fist pump. Okay, now to the recipe. Oh, wait. So we're doing a kitchen remodel, kind of. I think Eric and I are the worst at making life decisions. Yes, <laughs> choosing backsplash counts as a life decision. Are they making it out of bananas? Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Can you see the white carpet in my dining room? Let's take you on a tour of a house before we make the- <laughs> That's what spurred this whole oh thing. It may look white from here. But trust me, it's more a light shade of two-year-old eating spaghetti by now and getting worse every day. (laughs) Although, I should just count my blessings that there is no carpet in the kitchen. (laughs) And now to the recipe. Oh, wait. (laughs) Eric's parents are coming in to visit us. This this is like... um, Captive audience style uh, talking uh-huh. about yourself. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us where, the recipe. Where, you on know the table. you've got so you've yeah. got someone on the hook, so yeah. you're not going to give them what they want. Yeah. Eric's parents are coming us to visit us this week, and his dad knows how to lay flooring, so <laughs> we decided if we were going to do it, now was the time. <laughs> my cousin Lonnie, who is my unofficial interior designer. Convinced us to paint the cabinets and replace the counters while we're at it. Oh, cabinets God. Will, cabinets will be white with a subway Why? tile backsplash. I this want white the, quartz. Hmm? He's the Spalding Gray of internet recipes. <laughs> <laughs> the cabinets will be white with the subway tile backsplash. I want white quartz for the counters. Eric wants gray. What do you think? Oh, this is I a dialogue. Want I want bananas. Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll get to those. The floors will be dark brown wood. We can't decide. Bananas. Uh, wish us luck. <laughs> the bananas. crowd's getting the crowd's getting restless. Whether your <laughs> Valentine's Day is filled with lovers or rom coms, I hope it has at least oh, three Nutella banana crescents. Yeah. Bananas. <laughs> if you guys make this, snap a photo and share on Instagram using Hashtag the food charlatan. I want to see. No, you don't. Oh, I think this is all like branding. Like, let's get to know each other. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so what are the ingredients? Okay, the ingredients are. Oh, I'm Eric- sorry. We're out of time. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, that well. sounds delicious. I, I, 
I did convey the important part of this recipe, which is talking about myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and sadly, uh, you ate up so much time that not only do we not get to that recipe, but we are also missing out on uh, an excellent recipe for grilled cheese fries. But more importantly, Oreo glazed bacon, which uh, you can also find at dudefoods.com. I'm gonna <laughs> Very horrifying. Oh, there's yeah. a picture of the Mountain Dew fudge. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> it looks like my poorly made soap. Mountain yeah. Dew fudge, you say? Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, uh... it's on Etsy. So, readers, what did we learn about that? I'm hungry. <laughs> Not for this. I agree with I, the cat. I think all of the good recipes have been, pretty much all the good recipes have been found at this point. <laughs> so you think there's a ghost living in my couch, too, Stog? Yes. <laughs> okay. Help, I made a Torito pie. Uh, okay, well, we're going to maybe take a break for a, a snack and uh, whatever else. And walk yeah, because I'm in the mood now. <laughs> yeah. this, is, yeah, this is the end of the road for me. That bad. Yeah, so I uh, just want to get a quick shout out to Satan, who get, also gave us $6.66 <laughs> earlier this hour. Yay. Um, and uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, continuing on with another hour of weird shit uh, in about 10 minutes or so. So stick around. Yeah. Bye. See you, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs>